crate training and house breaking, your secret weapon. Welcome to Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy where you can learn to train your retriever with our online videos. So as you bring your puppy into the home, and really as soon as you bring it home, you're gonna need to be prepared to start crate training it as well as house break, breaking it, which really means teaching it that the crate is a good thing and teaching it not to go to the bathroom in the crate as well as that it should not go into the bathroom in the house as well. So when you start this process, there's a few things to consider, but I wanna tell you on the front end, we have an in-depth guide that you can actually download and we've provided a link here that you can download this guide for free and it will, it's step by step, it, it's gonna go over everything even more in depth and I'm about to go over it now, but I'm gonna go over some of the most important parts real quick. But again, that guide is available to you for free. But one of the first most important parts for crate training is the crate size. If you get the wrong crate size, then you're probably gonna have a big mess on your hands and it's gonna be much more difficult to crate train your dog. And what the right size crate really is that it, the dog can be in comfortably, but you don't want your dog to be able to walk around in it, really. You don't want it to be able to go to one corner or another because at that point, the pup can go to the bathroom in one corner without any consequence and just move over to another corner. Now, when it comes to crate size, you might be thinking, well, if I have to have that smaller crate, my puppy's gonna grow, I'm gonna have to have multiple crates. And really the answer is, you're right, you will kind of need multiple crates. So keep that in mind as well. Some people actually will take a larger crate and then maybe partition it off with some plywood and kind of keep it smaller. Uh, but other people just buy, multi they buy about three crates, they buy a small one and a medium one, and then they f buy the final kennel that they will use to transport their pup or that their pup will stay in. So those are some different ideas when it comes to crate size, but make sure that you do get the right crate size and that it's not too big for your puppy. So if you get the right crate size, the next thing to understand is how to handle accidents when they arise. And most likely you're gonna have at least an accident or two. And the big thing here is how you handle it. Don't panic, don't freak out, or even be upset with the puppy or even try to discipline the puppy for having an accident. If the puppy has an accident, that's gonna be on you, the handler, and that's okay. That is not a bad thing. Your pup would not understand if you tried to correct it at a very young age as soon as you bring it home. So if you have an accident, again, don't panic, clean up the mess, make sure you use a bacterial enzyme to make sure that you completely neutralize the odor. And if your pup has an accident in the crate, go ahead and give them a bath and make sure that crate is cleaned out thoroughly to help prevent accidents in the future. The most important thing here is prevention. So make sure that you're letting your, out, your pup out often enough so that it doesn't have an accident. And speaking of prevention, let's talk about one other aspect that's really gonna help set you up for success, and that's controlling the fuel of your pup. And what I mean by that is food and water. You should be feeding your pup at the same time, but also you should be considering not giving your pup too much water, and especially at times that it's gonna be in the crate for a long time. I will also say that as soon as you feed your pup, if you put them back in the crate and as soon as you give them water, you may want to let them out in about 15 minutes or so when they stop barking so that you don't reinforce it so that they can go to the bathroom because a puppy doesn't understand how to control its bladder yet and they will have accidents if you're not letting them out often enough. So that is some different things that you consider, but again, there is a guide available to you that you can download and print off or you can just ha download and have saved to your computer and you can check it out and follow it step by step to ensure that your crate training and housebreaking process goes very smoothly.